Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We'll see the remaining slides. Okay. Organizational systems. Organizational system. Okay. Organizational system. There are two extreme organizational systems. Like first, management by project organization is often uh, drives most of the revenue by performing the projects. Yeah. And develop management system to, to support it. So it is uh, based on the organization systems yeah it's based on the organization systems also like what is this organization system mainly it is a structure how an organization is set up it's actually how's the structure how actually this uh, how an how a organization is set how an organization is structure actually structure actually the structure how organization is set and uh, this structure defines how each division of the business is set up like the hierarchy of who reports to whom so it develops like an hierarchy It develops in hierarchy like who reports, who reports to whom, how, and it, it's a communication flow. It is a communication. It is a communication flow through the organization. It's a communication. It is a communication flow. Yes, it's a communication flow. Then what is this? Um, like this is for the um, like uh, now we have non-project base. This is for non-project base organization. Often it's called functional. It is called functional because it creates a revenue from the operations and also typically it uh, and it typically lacks project support system. It lacks the support system. So there are two extreme groups over here. One is management by project organization. Other is a non-project based organization. So this non-project based, they say it is a functional because it creates a, again it, it creates a structure based on the team members they create based on the team members they allocated from the different um, functional units so allocated from different functional units of organization so a typical organization would be it will have a different functional units like hr it should have hr uh, from finance department or from marketing department and sales, IT. So uh, they are like the, they are a group of members from different department and uh, used to create a support system. They have a support system. See, non project means typically there's a lack of support system. So uh, it creates a sort of uh, lagness. Yes. Then, in fact, most of the organizations fall into a middle ground where project and operational uh, manage, manage resources through the matrix uh, approach. So Matrix approach, what is matrix approach? So most of the organization fall into this middle ground. Matrix approach, it is a combination, like it has a forms a matrix-like structure, like, a, it, uh, like a, it's a traditional hierarchy. It is a traditional hierarchical process, a traditional, traditional hierarchy process in which the employees have dual reporting relationships. So that's very important. They have dual reporting relationships. Okay. So generally both the, to the functional manager, either to the functional manager or to the project manager. So this is what has a matrix approach because they fall, so it's a middle group. Yeah. Then you have formal organization. Formal organization, actually it is, a, there are three types over here. Pure project organization, traditional form organization, and matrix organization. What is this pure project organization? Actually it acts as a model. It acts as a model of business, model of business as a model of business where project managers have control project managers they have the control they have the control over the project they have the pro control over the the project manager control over the project yes then the traditional form of organization is, is there are some different forms like functional geographical product customer and process this traditional form of project like uh, traditional form uh, it is a uh, actually you know traditional is a universal practice which includes a set of developed techniques uh, it's a universal it is a universal practice it is a universal practice it is a universal practice it develops a technique like planning planning estimating then controlling 
So it develops a technique like uh, develops planning, estimating, and controlling. It has mainly a functional role. What is this functional role? It is a set of skills and activities that are typically found in the department. So it is all the skills and activities, all the skills and activities within the department, within the department organization. For example, manager, director, or uh, vice president. Yeah. Okay. Describes a set of skills. Okay. Then geographic it is a location of the region. It is a location. Geographic is a location. Geographic is a location. Uh, or neighborhood. It can examine the composition of soil. It examines the actually it is about the composition of soil, etc. Product. What product? Whether your particular product is uh, you are working on a pro particular product and how it is to be done, based on their uh, methods, based on the method, based on their objectives, based on the techniques okay then customer customer is the king so we have, we always produce things we with required to the customers uh, which we required to customer specifications then we have um, process methodology processes methodology process method how you do the process methods again then matrix methodology matrix uh, organization actually is an organization structure in which uh, some individuals report to more than one supervisor so like this is as i said in the beginning it is uh, reporting of work to more than one, more than one supervisor or head, supervisor or head, this matrix organization. Then this is project in functional organization. See, we have uh, in classic fun fun uh, functional organization, uh, management shares the project or coordination and each has official authority. They have their own uh, authority over staffs and and uh, in their own function, like for example, uh, chief executive is the main head. He has three managers: functional manager, uh, functional manager, his functional manager, and this is a team. This is project team, redesign team, and they, this uh, black is a project coordination responsibility. So they have the staffers, or uh, the staffer, and each one of them under that they have the staffer. So the he is a coordinate, he's project coordinator responsible, but he's a team member, project team member in the red boxes. <coughs> 